okay so we got rid of all our stuff now it's just uh, uh, saving money spending money trying to make money figuring out what we want to do uh, we're not on vacation we're living uh, the RV life full-time in a fifth wheel uh, exactly We made it. Happy New Year. Happy 2020. It's going to be a good year. First week of uh, January. January. Some days here. I'm Daryl. And I'm Kim. Hey, stop the madness. Start the adventure. We're out here in the big Q, Quartzsite, Arizona. I know it's a destination that people <laughs> from all over the world want to come. And this is not our first time here, but we're going to enjoy it uh, this winter. Uh, if you've been following along with our travels, we went from Spokane, Washington, all the way across the top side of the United States, all the way over through North Dakota, Minnesota, Indiana, Kentucky, you know, uh, I don't know where else, all the way down to the Carolinas, Tennessee. Florida, Louisiana, Texas, New Mexico, and now we're going to be here for the winter. Yep. We're full-time RVers, been full-time for over four years now. In fact, it'll be five years come uh, this May. May. All right, Prince of P, come here. Everybody, I need, I need content. Everybody says I need a dog and a content. Well, I got a one-eyed dog. That's good content. Mine's got two. And now, <laughs> if you've been joining us, uh, for a while uh, we've only had princess she's 13 years old uh, Yorkie we rescued her but while we were camping out in the desert uh, southeast of Phoenix lo and behold this little man shows up he's about 10 weeks old we think he's a smorky and my cousin finds him as she came out to visit us on her way back uh, up to Phoenix she sees him out in the middle of the road. So she stopped and got him. No chip, no tags, no collar, no nothing. So No lost and founds. We looked over for, for uh, any pictures on any posts or anything, but we couldn't find anything. So we got him to the vet and had him all checked out. Uh, again, there's no chip and everything. So got him all his shots as Parvo. He's probably already have him because he's a pretty good boy. But I think he's an escape artist. So anyway, make a long story short, now he's going to ride with us for a while. Photo bomb. Unless it's Odo. <laughs> hold it, hold it. It's a photo bomb. Who are them people back Who there? Who are those people? That is. That is life is a joy. Life Hello, is a joy. Jim. <laughs> that is Debbie and Jim. We're parked next to them along with the uh, Nomadic Ramblers. Oh. Used to be the Phoenix Ramblers. But Wonderful right here in the Posa South. And we're at the long-term visitor area, and we're out here just enjoying ourselves. Uh, got a good spot out here. This is yeah. where you can come out and, and uh, pay $180 for... From September 15th to April 15th. And out here they have services... Of water, sewage, and trash pickup. That's well, right. not pickup, dump. Yeah, they got trash cans out here. and. Uh, they got uh, a lot of good services where the other LTVAs do not have that. So a lot of them have to drive over here, a dump, uh, put on water, and uh, get rid of their trash. Some places have trash, some places have some of the things, but I think this is the only one that has water. From what I understand, right now it's not very crowded, but it gets very crowded here later on. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure. <laughs> but anyway, it's just beautiful out here. Uh, we went out with uh, uh, Bobby and Sharon and uh, uh, Jim and Debbie for a three mile hike, uh, was it yesterday? Yeah. And went all the way around, uh, walked around out here, watching people flying kites, 
Uh, Quartzite starting to get busy. Went into town today. Got three boxes of wood. The wood was three boxes for twenty-four dollars. That's the cheap stuff, and then for the good stuff, it's three boxes for thirty dollars. But anyway, we're just out here enjoying it. We're going to spend the winter out here until it warms up, where we can go north, whether that's uh, Flagstaff or, or just whatever. Yeah. So we just wanted to do a little recap of what we did in 2019. And so we can start off and end, I guess, uh, season eight and start off with season nine. Uh, we've been doing this for a while. I bought my first uh, truck camper in 1984. And Kim and I uh, have had RVs for a long time. And now we finally are just going to uh, get out there and travel as much as we can. Now we'd have no strings. We sold all our real estate. Uh, rent properties. I don't have to worry about that. I don't have to worry about a phone no more call. Phone calls. <laughs> okay, so we got rid of all our stuff. Now it's just uh, uh, saving money, spending money, trying to make money, figuring out what we want to do. Uh, we're not on vacation. We're living uh, the RV life full time in a fifth wheel. Uh, exactly. As if you've seen before, uh, back behind us over here. We have our uh, Alpenlite uh, 31RK okay, yeah. uh, fifth wheel. And it's we, really a nice fifth wheel. I mean, I'm really starting to kind of like it. Yep, it's small. Yeah. We, we got it because it's smaller. We have another RV up in the northwest that we left up at my cousin's property on the river because uh, it's a 42 foot a landmark uh, Heartland. Uh, San, Antonio version. San Antonio version and if you go back in some of our other videos you see how we rehabbed all that repainted it and basically the same thing we did with this one but we wanted to do a smaller size uh, footprint this year get into some smaller parks smaller venues and just kind of relax where I wouldn't have to worry about trying to get in a lot of areas with the bigger rig and, and it's, it's worked really out, worked out good yeah it has it's worked out really good we got to go to a lot of places what was one of your favorite places you got to go in this rig because we went smaller? Elkmont. Elkmont. In the Smoky Mountains. In the Smoky Mountains. I've always wanted to go. I never could because our our fifth wheel was way too big. So this one was perfect. Yep. you got to be 35 feet or less in Elkmont to get a spot in there. And that's kind of tight if you have a 35 footer. Uh, it's no problem really getting in there if you go a certain way. But once you get in the Gamp Crown, it's kind of hard to turn and, and park them. So... If you got anything bigger than 35, you're not going to get in there. But honestly, the other places we've gone, we really could have met. We could have fit Maddie in them. You know? lot, yeah, a lot we of the really boondocking spots. If you go back uh, just a couple videos before, uh, you see Excuse some. Me. Uh, Bentley, where are you going? There, that's that escape artist right there. He just likes to go. Got to be kind of careful out here. The sun's starting to go down and. We don't want to have a coyote issue. They'll come out of nowhere. We haven't seen any yet, but we're going to keep We've heard them. Yep. And Jim and Deb, Debbie said, make sure that you watch them. So yep. I'm when watching you, them. We come in up here, uh, and we'll show you how you come in and what you got to pay. Um, but anyway, getting back to 2019, uh, probably another great spot that we went to was a state park in Florida on the beach. In Destin. Yep. Henderson State Park That's was a, absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend it. Yep. That was a great spot. Um, you could park, uh, what, maybe 500 yards from the beach? I yeah. mean, it's right close to the beach. You just got to get on the boardwalk and go over the hill. The old highway that used to be back there, back when I first traveled through there, it's not there anymore. Now. <laughs> yeah. Now they've redone it, and, and it's uh, like five lanes. <laughs> that shows you how old he is. When you used to go through a road, and, and they abandoned it. Was it was a two-lane highway, and it's it's not there anymore. So that's how old we're getting. But it was absolutely beautiful. Yep. I would definitely go back again. It was forty dollars a night, and we had like a really secluded um, site. Yeah, the way they I, have them, they have stuff in between all the the the, the camping and spots, plants so it and gives you a lot of all kinds privacy. of trees and everything. But I'm telling you what, I've never seen cleaner washer and dryers in my life. Take, it was spotless and immaculate. Yep, they take care of it really good. Another great camping spot. That's probably a destination I oh, want to go back. Oh, I definitely want to go back. I know where he's talking about. Go ahead. Skid away. Skid away. In Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. 
I mean, we had a good time in Savannah, and I really want to go back there and spend another week there. We were able to stay there, what, four days maybe? Yeah, we, just we, because we couldn't find another tried, campground. We actually tried to get it extended. But it and there's a video, uh, you know, just go back down to Season 8, and you'll find the Skidaway Park. Great place to camp. The Grand Design had their, uh, I think one of the local rallies there or something. Uh, but it's a great it place cool. to stay, maybe 15 minutes to downtown uh, Savannah. Uh, there's other parks around there, but it takes a little longer to get downtown. But we took the tours, and man, the Green Moss, it's just a great town. Third busiest port, I believe, in the United States. Uh, but you wouldn't know it from Old Town Savannah. Yeah. Uh, we rode around and looked at all the squares and all the history, and it'd be nice now once you know where everything's at to be able to go back and really walk it and read some stuff. I, I think we really enjoy that. And honestly, I think it was cheaper to do it the way that we did it on the trolley with $30 instead of actually taking the car and trying to park it with the truck, the dually. And I mean, you would pay a high price to go do that. So, I mean, we came out ahead, I do believe, doing that. And then we got to go and eat at um, Paula Dean's, which was absolutely on my top favorite list here and it was so good Yep, Kim got to go to her Paula Deans so I made her life happy for a day and also Daryl enjoyed it too oh it was very good just for the parking deal if you, you got to pay to park almost anywhere over on the east side I mean if you can find some boondocking good for you but with our RVs we're just not going to fight the hassle but we got free parking because we paid to go on the tours and we had free parking in their parking lot at the visitor center. No, I have to correct you. We had to pay a dollar per hour. Oh. Remember, because we went over there and we paid, we had to swipe the card. We had to get those people to help us because we couldn't okay, figure it so out. Okay, so we paid four, four was, dollars. Right, we paid four dollars. But I mean, that's, that's free for yeah, me. Yeah, exactly. That's better and than $20 th an yeah, hour in some other places. In Charleston, Charleston was 20 something dollars an hour. I mean, no, 20 something dollars for three hours or three something hour like that. Or I mean, something it was like that. unbelievable. But everybody's used to doing that, but we just kind of took a wrong left. And we, once you're in there, you're in there. You're, you're, you can't back out, so. But uh, that was one of the, our, our uh, life lessons this year, is trying to plan stuff out. I think we did pretty good. We found a lot of free campsites. Kim found a lot of boondocking while we were driving down the road. Some of the stuff we didn't even uh, post this year. Uh, hope, yeah. Hopefully in 2020, we're gonna find a bunch more. As most of you know, if you're getting ready to go or you're already out there, things are getting crazy. More and more people every day are RVing, and the spots that used to nobody would go and that were secret <laughs> are no longer secret anymore. So if you, it's not going to get better before it gets worse. So uh, if you want to get ready to go, you better get out there and do it because almost every national park that we've gone to, it's just people all over the place. So there's no really downtime unless it's snowing or raining, but between the visitors overseas uh, and during the summer with kids out of school, which is fantastic. I mean, my folks yeah. took us RVing way back when, and that's why we're doing it now, because I feel Makes comfortable doing memories. it. But I'm telling you, it's, it gets complicated. You gotta make reservations, yeah. or you gotta know where to boondock. You gotta know how to park. But uh, it's getting crazy out there. Right. Back in the day, you didn't have to worry about all that. I mean. Nope. There's the people out there that there are now. But there's places out there you still gotta you gotta hunt a little bit harder for them and find them, and we're gonna find some. But uh, anyway, that's 2019. We had a good trip. I think we're almost putting what 8,000 miles on right now in since September. Yeah. So you know that's what, that's a lot. Five months. So we've had a good time. Trucks doing good. The RV's doing good. The solar's doing good. The inverter system and uh, all that's doing great. Uh, knock on wood, the generator, our champion generator is still purring like a kitten. A little maintenance on the carburetor, cleaned it all out. Uh, can't ask, for, I, we just can't ask for anything. We're blessed. Uh, we've, we're thankful yes, we every day we can do what we can do. We got great support from our families um, that keep in contact with us all the time. Uh, mooch docking over at my sister's in Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Deb. Uh, mooch docking at uh, my cousin's place in uh, 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 Washington and, and 
and Mooch visiting over at my sister's place in Washington. Yeah. <laughs> we thank we thank them so much. Yes. We have a great time. This is one of the reasons why we wanted to do this is because we could go see our families. And we've met some people. I met my cousin for the first time ever uh, up in Tennessee. That was a great trip. We mooch docked at her place. That was wonderful. That was a, hey, Bonnie. Yep, that was a great trip. Um, so, I mean, this is what it's all about. It's quality of life, doing what you can do, you know, without getting, you know, too crazy or, or going broke. But, Just having uh, a great time. Yep, we're going to stay positive this year, 2020. Uh, we got some goals. We're going to do a video on that coming up. But we just want to kind of update you of where we were. If you want to meet us, we're at La Posa South in the court site right off 95. If you don't know where that is, you, you can figure it out real quick. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of people out here that we know uh, that we're going to go see them. Uh, meet up with some of the people, some of the tribe. We're going to go meet up with the tribe. <laughs> uh, maybe camping with the Kellys. There's, yep. there's a bunch of people out here. So uh, hope you like and subscribe. And if you want to share the video, share the video out. Give us a thumbs up. Kim's got some cooking videos coming out. I think we're going to put one up uh, maybe Wednesday. And uh, just a real simple, easy one. People's been asking to get Kim back in the picture and do her cooking again. So we're going to make them happy. But we appreciate any of your comments. It's just something to say hi. You know, we've got some great subscribers and great people that comment all the time. And we That's want right. to thank you very, very much. Um, what else you got, babe? I don't know. I hope everybody's having a great New Year's. Hopefully little man, will, little man's doing good. He sleeps yeah. all night long. So somebody lost a, a great dog or they abandoned a great dog. One of the two, but yeah. we can't figure out why he, they would abandon him. But uh, you know, things are things are weird. He's a very he's a very good dog. But the sun's going down tonight. We may get some shots. We might yeah. have some, got some good clouds behind us. Have uh, a campfire tonight with life is a joy and yep. the nomadic ramblers. Yep. Sit around. Be fun. Eat a few peanuts. Yep. <laughs> but until then, we want you to get out there. We want you to do it. it took us a while, but we did it, and we enjoy it tremendously don't be scared just make your decision and go you'll never be prepared your things are always changing or always fluid yeah exactly because I actually thought Daryl was crazy at first and I was like I'm not doing that kind well, of I thing well I am crazy but, but <laughs> I mean after you get on the road and stuff and then when you actually sit still for like four or five months it's like oh my god I need to get back on the road I gotta do something I yeah, can't sit like here any longer sometimes four or five it's days it's crazy but you, you can pick up and go we can move you know, right down there, look at out here, there, there's just everywhere. There's so much on La Posa South and uh, that you can come out here and just just drop it and, right. and just sit down and relax for a while. Uh, watch TV, go nice out for a quiet. walk. Nice and quiet. Yep. It's so anyway, really nice. the point is, you just got to stop the madness. And start the adventure. Some days here. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. gonna talk tell him Bentley say bye say bye I'm busting free gotta go gotta go